Hey, 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 get up and go challenge day 25 already. Sharon Hornell from here with my You Are Special Cup. This is a tradition in my family for uh, holidays and celebrations. So I'm going to have a sip of my coffee before we get started. So today we're going to talk about the spiritual aspect of our being. And we're going to apply, of course, our soul framework to that spiritual aspect of ourselves. I'm looking for my S key. S for spirit. Remember, I made these silly keys of the seven areas of our aspects of our life just to remind me when I hear them jingle in my backpack or in my purse or my bag or when I'm carrying them around in my pocket just because I want to do some thinking about a different area or aspect of my life. This is my actual physical reminder of that. So we're going to talk about our spiritual well-being and our spiritual being for today and we're going to apply the soap framework to it. I'm going to run through an example and instead of picking four tools like I did yesterday, which is way too many, today we're going to just focus on one tool and how we can use that tool throughout the entire framework and in other areas and aspects of our life as well. So what the heck is our spiritual well-being? What does that include? What is the spiritual aspect of our life? Well, it might be religion. It's going to be different, of course, like all of these for each of us. It might be religion. It might be the spiritual you, the big you, the, your soul, um, your inside, your, your little being versus your big being. Your big being is your, is your soul or your the entity, the, the part of us that is obviously very difficult to describe and explain. But it's, and then it's our connection. It's not only just about us, it's our spiritual being is about us, but it's also about how are we related to and connected to other people, other entities, other spiritual beings. And usually we discover that through religion or other forms of, uh, not necessarily forms of worship, but through other growth and development and ways of understanding ourselves better. I think a lot of our spiritual growth, at least in my opinion, is about understanding ourselves better, what makes us tick, who we are, what we're here for, you know, the biggest questions in the universe, you know, why am I here? What's my purpose? Why do I exist? I think fall under the spiritual aspect of our being. So how can we use our SOAP framework to become whatever it is we want to become with respect to spirituality? Now I want to focus on things that feed and fuel my, my being, fuel my soul. And so I'm, I'm going to say, especially during COVID-19, a lot of the traditional ways that I was able to do that, for example, people like to attend services or mass or have gatherings or get togethers where they share their spirituality. Common groups of people tend to come together or congregate and that helps us to feel more connected to other people as well as more connected to ourselves, which is about being more spiritual. So our tool today, I'm going to jump to our tool and then we'll use it throughout the SOAP framework through all the S, the O, the A, and the P as we talk through them. But our, our tool today is going to be meditation. How can we use meditation to enhance the SOAP framework and enhance the different areas and aspects of our life that we want to improve? I'm not getting the same proof because most of us don't want any area or aspect of our life to get worse. We usually want it to get better. Uh, so I'm just going to assume that that is true for you as well. Although I'm very well aware of the dangers of assuming. So let me grab my magnifying glass so I can actually see what I am doing today. So soap, our soap framework. So let me think about my spirituality. Remember, soap is our, our story, our situation, our options, because we want to do something. We, we know what our story is, but if, if we're thinking about it or we're wanting to improve it, obviously it isn't exactly what we want yet. So we're going to want options and, and possibilities of what we can do to fill the gap from where we are to where we want to be. A is the action we're going to take, and P is, of course, the, the progress we're making. Are we moving toward what we want or away from what we want? So how can we apply this so framework to our spiritual well-being? Well, the first thing I like to do is, is break it down to not my overall spiritual well-being, but what's a specific thing, a specific area I want to work on, or a specific result I want to see and move toward. Because, again, spirituality is a big topic, just like all these other areas and aspects of our life. Our physical well-being, our, our finances, our relationships, everything is not just one little thing. And, and then you know, we used to think, well, at least we did when we were young, that if only if this happens, then I'm going to be happy. Only if another specific thing happens, I'm going to be successful. And as we get older, we learn and we realize that that's not true. It's, it's a culmination of a lot of things that contribute to our feelings. So let's say, uh, what do I want to work on? 
since a lot of the and what I here's what I like about meditation why meditation is a great tool I can meditate anywhere anytime no matter what nobody can prevent me from meditating to me meditating is breathing and it's focusing on my breath and it's um, either clearing my mind a lot of people think that uh, meditation and again you, you have to explore and find out what meditation method works for you there are literally thousands and thousands there are apps there are uh, videos on YouTube there are books and tapes and I don't even know if they make tapes anymore books and tapes and all kinds of resources to tap into and learn how to meditate and figure out the practice that works for you me it's all about my breathing and quieting my mind which is very difficult on most occasions so to me meditation is being in a quiet calm place where I can quiet my mind and focus on my breathing and then once I focus on my breathing I can work on a specific thought or area that I want to work on or I want to think about or I want answers to questions that I have in so to me meditation is a very fluid process a very fluid practice now, do I listen to meditation tapes and, and programs and things? Absolutely all the time. I love guided meditation. To me, hypnosis is a form of meditation. So find what works for you, but let's run through this whole framework and, and say, okay, well, how would meditation help in this? So what's my current situation? For our S, it's always, what's my story I'm telling myself right now? And what do I want my story and situation to be? And it's taking out the emotions, and although they're going to come up, and saying, what uh, what's really going on here if I break down and break through all the stuff that we tend to to fill our minds with and and I'm, I can use meditation to help me get clear on what my story is and especially on what I want my story to be that's our s so what is my current story in terms of my spiritual being is it where I want it to be and I can use again as things we've learned before my my scale of one to ten where do I think I am feeling spiritually and I did this. Let me let me sneak back in my book and see what I did. We did this earlier. Let me just pop in today and see. Do I agree that that's where I am today? Spiritually, I said seven. Meh, probably, probably a six or a seven. I'm I'm at now. Today happens to be a holiday, so I'm in higher spirits, right? So I'm definitely feeling a seven. But I want to focus on what feeds and fuels my soul. Things that make me feel good. Things that. Uh, and experiences and activities that move me in the direction that I want and I want those things to actually feel positive feel good feel like they are connecting me to other people that they are um, having me show up as the kind of person I want to show up as that I'm being kind that I'm being open that I'm being um, a resource and a tool for other people to, to feel better about themselves never worse about themselves so that's my story that's my situation so how do I get from and, and do I do that all the time? Well, heck no. So how do I get from where I am right now with respect to wanting that to, you know, doing that on a continuous basis and always being a light and a resource for other people? Uh, so then I'm going to go into my, oh, right, my options. What are the different possible ways or options that I, and possibilities that I could use to go from where I am now? And especially during COVID-19, there are so many things that I did before COVID-19 that we're not doing now to be connected to other people, be better connected. To, I think I'm probably better connected to myself than I have been in a long time because we've had a lot of time to spend with ourselves, working on ourselves, meditating, thinking, pondering what is important to ourselves. So I think from a personal standpoint, one-on-one -on -one by myself, I'm actually stronger in that area and aspect of my spiritual being. But as far as the connected to other people part and connected to things outside of myself, definitely lacking in that area so how could i become more connected to other people and other things even during a pandemic so that's something i would want to spend some time meditating and pondering on and i can breathe quietly i can ask myself those questions and see what comes up and i guarantee a whole bunch of things will come up a whole bunch of ideas will come up the more we exercise our brainstorming our problem solving our possibility muscles the more things come up for us, the easier and the faster those possibilities come to us. So I'm going to pick one of those. So say I brainstorm a bunch of things and I decide that I am going to, instead of starting something, because a lot of what I focus on is what action can I take to move me in the direction I want to go right now. And instead of thinking about that today, what if we think about something we want to stop doing? 
So for example, I don't know about you, but I find that there are activities and things that I do in my life that are actually still soul sucking. I did a lot more of them years ago and I realized, oh my gosh, some things make me feel really, really bad. They're the right thing to do for my business or my family or my relationships or my situation. But I really, really don't feel good about them. I don't like them. And they're, they're little things like housework and stuff like that. But they're things that have to get done. But I realized maybe I'm not the one that has to do them. So there's there's there were businesses and things in different businesses that I was involved in that they were great businesses, but they felt horrible to me. And they left me absolutely drained and and discouraged and sad at the end of the day or just down. And I learned that over the years I had to pick and choose the activities and the things that were that made me feel alive and energized and that I love doing and I needed to let go of or find other ways of accomplishing the tasks and the things that didn't make me feel good, didn't make me feel that way. And I realized that during COVID, some of those things that are actually soul sucking have rolled back into my life, partly out of necessity because it, it was harder to just delegate and, and, and get those things out. But I know that I took on more and have continued to take on more than I need to. And there are things that I can delegate out and I can ask other people for help with and I can just get off my plate so that the things I'm spending all of my time and energy on are the activities that make me feel good. So I can meditate. I can make a little list of those things and start off, off. I'm going to call them offloading, dumping, whatever, but move, removing those from my life and my daily activities so that I feel lighter and happier and more in alignment with my spirit and my soul and who I really am. And then for progress, how will I know if I'm making progress? Well, I can tap into and meditate about how do I feel about this? Am I feeling, how am I feeling at certain times of day? How am I feeling at the end of the day? Am I feeling uh, lighter and more aligned with who I am and more spiritual? Or am I feeling, I guess I say lighter or heavier. That's just actually a really good tool to know how we're feeling. If we feel negative or heavy about something, then it's not for us. If we feel positive, light, or happy about it, or uplifted or more connected than that thing is for us. So that's one way of knowing if we're making progress or not toward what we want. And sometimes we tell ourselves we want something and we find out that it makes us feel terrible. So we're really telling ourselves we should want something, but we don't necessarily want it. And that goes against our spirit, right? And this is all about who we are and, and what we want for ourselves. So what can we do for an action item today? I challenge you to pick one spirit related thing. Maybe it's, it's, my church is closed because of COVID and I really miss mass. Let's run through the soul framework and find out how I can feel that connectivity and, and go to church or services or mass remotely so that I can regroup and refill that connection. But use it going through the soul framework or any problem or any challenge or anything that you want different with respect to sp spirituality and your spiritual well-being. So do that, run through it, and then share in the comments below just how it went for you today. How did using the soap framework go for you today? I'm stumbling through it myself as I'm talking through it today. So realize it's that way for all of us. I've done it literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of times, but talking about it is a lot more challenging for me than actually doing it in my head or doing it in my notes and doing it in my notebook. So meditation is our tool. Spirituality is our, our focus today. Pick one thing, run through the soap framework. What's your story? What is it now? What do you want it to be? What are the possible ways of filling that gap from where you are to where you want to be? That's our O, our options. A, take action. Take action on one thing. Just pick one thing. We've, we've discussed a lot of different ways of deciding what that one thing is, but maybe today just meditate a second or 20 seconds on it and say, hmm, which of the possible things I came up with sound right for me right now? And then just do that thing. To me, it was stop doing soul sucking things. That's exactly what popped into my mind as I thought about this today. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll know if I'm making progress on how I feel. Do I feel better? And I like to meditate, you know, 15 minutes. I like to meditate first thing in the morning and then about 15 minutes at night before I go to bed. It helps me fall asleep and just drift off and then work on things that I want to work on for my own different areas and aspects of my life while I sleep. And then I wake up with answers that I never knew that were hiding away in my subconscious somewhere. So that's what I do. So do this, do this today, and then just share. Did you have any hiccups? Did you have any challenges running through the process? Have an amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow with another soap.
I'm not sure if it's going to be mental soap, probably mental soap, mental or contribution. If you want, you can vote in the comments below. Have an amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye. Get up and go. Go do this. See how it makes you feel.